everybody what's up it's your girl different and welcome to different for youtube channel i hope you all are having a wonderful day like your girl and your boy here my co-host pookie my nephew and if not manifest plan and prepare for a better one and i guarantee you guys are surely coming to you all for sure and if this is your first second third time or more to my youtube channel be sure before you leave to hit that what button boom and subscribe on the notification down below there you go uh you hear what my boy said here and so today, you guys, is Friday. Yay, Friday. And so you guys know on Fridays we drop our travel content. And so this one's no different. It's going to be our summer trip to uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. I want to let my boy here tell you about it. Um, when we went down there uh, for our summer vacation for 2023, um, I started my new job this summer, so we barely could travel. And so before he went back to school, I just thought I'd surprise him. We normally hop on the flight. But uh, this time is just different. I gotta, you know, take a different approach to it. And so we did a little uh, drive down trip to Corpus Christi in about three and a half hour drive. Uh, went for like a day or two and got to do a lot. And so um, let's take it over to my boy, my co host here, and ask him uh, how'd you think about the trip? It was pretty good. Yeah, what all the stuff that you used to do that you remember? What, what the places that we went? We went to... The water park? Yeah, uh, Hurricane Alley, a uh, water park out there in the Corpus Christi, Crispy, which was like, I kept calling it, call it uh, Corpus Crispy, uh, or Coco. I think Corpus Crispy. <laughs> but yeah, Hurricane Alley, man, big shout out to them. It was so fun. Uh, uh, five minutes into being there, he up and disappeared out of nowhere and had to basically put out the Amber Alert. <laughs> It's Luke for him, man, and, and come to find out he in a little river pool chilling. And so uh, after that, you know, it was a cool breeze. We had a really good time. We chilled there for a couple of hours. Um, what else we got to do? Um, we went to the movie. Yeah, yeah we, we went to the Meg 2 trench. Yep, that's where we went to go see the Meg 2 uh, trench. And if you guys haven't gotten a chance to check out our movie review that we just dropped on, and you guys definitely have to, you guys review this uh, vlog and hit that subscribe, uh, that like button for it. Go check out the Meg 2 review. Um, but we, yeah, we got to see the movie, uh, the Meg. What else we did? We did a lot in like one, two days. Um, we went to Waterburger. Yeah, it, they had a really nice uh, beachfront Waterburger there. Um, but we didn't we sit outside for the damn seagulls. It was like <laughs> they knew. Um, the, 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 that was a territory. They weren't scared. They was just. They was all about action. They were ready for it. So, um, yeah, I got to see that in little video clips we have. Uh, we did. What else we did? Pooh, I feel like we did so much more. You forget. You ain't telling us. We, we, we went to the USS Lexington. Oh yeah, the warship. We got to visit that. Uh, that was one. That's one of the main attractions out there in Corpus Christi is the USS Lexington. Also. Um, for those who may not know, this is the hometown of the late and great uh, Tejano Queen, uh, Selena uh, Quintanilla Perez. Um, she sings one of my favorite songs, like that Bidi Bum Bum, uh, rest in peace to her. But this is her hometown. Um, and so uh, when you go there, um, she gets a lot, a lot of mad love. But um, surprisingly, and I, it was one of my goals to go to the Selena Museum, but uh, it's, it's closed on the weekends. Wow. But uh, uh, talking with the locals out there, they confess that um, it's always closed uh, due to her, her family, and, and the family isn't liked very much in Corpus. Uh, only the husband, is what I found out, that the husband, you know, he gets mad love and respect from, you know, the people out there in Coco. But the family, they don't really too much like them. So uh, I don't know what that's all about. But in any case, um, while we sit here yapping and jaw jacking, how about you guys check out our adventures and uh, take a look at uh, all the places we got to visit. Now, we didn't go to the museum, but we did go to the Selena statue. So that's uh, probably one of the makeups from it. But uh, check out our, our adventures here. And when we're done, we'll come back on. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. Right? And it would let you guys know a little bit more of what's going on in different world. Here it is, check it out. We'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's up world? Our YouTube. Your girl different and welcome to Different World. See, we got your boy here. Say hello, boo. So we out here in, where is this? We in Corpus Christi, y'all. Get in the boo, get in it. See, we out here in uh, Hurricane Valley or Alley Water Park. 
out here in Corpus Christi. Pooh, stay in one spot, please. Come on now. Moving all over the place. Where you going? No, I did not say that, y'all. Excuse me. He's a little too excited. He all over the place. I told you, we just need to get a lay of the land to see what we're going to do first. And then we can figure it out, okay? All right, so let's start the walk. Okay, back to it, y'all. <laughs> He's excited. He ready. The little back to school vacay before. And I'm excited as well, too, you guys. I have not traveled all year. And so I chose this spot because it was simple. And we only had one day he wanted to walk around with his shirt off, show off his sexiness. <laughs> oh, the girl. So you gonna show your sexiness? And so we're gonna do the, the slides. Who you gonna do the slides? Yeah. We're gonna do it this time. Last time he wasn't having it. He don't like he didn't like the slides back in the day. So we just here enjoying ourselves. We got Waterburger Field back there, if y'all can see. Who don't quit? Get out of my get out of my okay, get out of my Thank you! Yeah, we got Waterburger Field. Um, FYI, for those of you who don't know, Corpus Christi is the birthplace of the Tejano Queen. And if you don't know who the Tejano Queen is, allow me to tell you. Uh, that's uh, Selena Perez Quintanilla. Um, the one and only, you know, say my favorite, favorite song. <laughs> but uh, that was the one? Go ahead. But so we are here in her hometown. Uh, looking forward to definitely planning on visiting her museum. Um, they said she has a statue out here as well, so if I can find it, I'll get a picture of it. But for today, we just made it out here. It was a three-hour drive from Houston. Um, and so we're just going to enjoy ourselves at the water park. We got checked in at the um, hotel a while back. Pump me one more time. <laughs> really? And so, uh, yeah, we're just going to do it big, you guys. Enjoy ourselves. You know, you don't have to jump on a flight or catch a flight to have fun. You know, sometimes you can just hop in the car and ride. Ain't that right, Pooh? Yeah. All right, so we're going to enjoy ourselves. We'll take some pictures, some more video clips, and then uh, that's going to be that, yeah? Here it is. Peace, guys. Step as well. Come and learn. Right. Peace. <laughs> going all the way to the top you guys we did so far that's it what we did y'all we did the blue and the green and we did the white and the uh, red ones the white and the red one that shit was too loopy it was wild <clears throat> had vertigo in that mud but um having a really good time tomorrow I don't know if y'all can see it over there no y'all can't see it let's see if I can get up here let's see come on y'all give y'all a view of difference world what's going on it's been so long since i did a travel vlog y'all recently okay let's see if y'all can see let's see if i can zoom in y'all okay y'all can see over there it's the uss Lexington, and so tomorrow we'll be going there but today we having fun here you know they got a baseball screen going on around yonder how you doing um got the wave pool over here we got my boy Pooh. He about to come down. Let's see. See how long it's gonna take y'all. Ooh shit, don't fall in now. Thought that on camera, buddy.
Here you come. <laughs> Ready for this? Look at oh. <laughs> you. All right, boo. Be careful. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to laugh at him. Hey, that's my nephew. I can laugh at him. I guarantee you nobody else can. Huh, Consequences, repercussions. Let's go, boo. Let's see. I'm gonna call you at uh, 7.50, we're gonna go hit the showers. How about? You did that, I like that. Leave, leave it right here, leave it right here. Okay. Leave it right here. Put your shoes on. Can we get a close to the room again? Well, it's closing and they want us to leave. So if we were to go out, we wouldn't be able to see it. So this is about as good as it get, buddy. All right, so guys. Woo. All right, guys. So we just finished doing, uh, uh, what's this? Hurricane Alley Water Park. So if you guys ever get a chance to come out in Corpus Christi, check it out. We had ourselves a good time here. So much to do. We can have pool parties. Oh yeah, we're going away. Sorry, I was doing my deal. Excuse me. Yeah, my my nephew, he's getting me right. But uh, yeah, this is real fun. I enjoy myself. We may have to put this on a, a comeback list, maybe next summer or something. This was definitely fun. Uh, you had fun, Pooh? Yeah. What was your favorite part? Favorite part was the big slides, the rain and weather. Oh yeah. I, so we got to do all the slides this, at least. I like the fact that they didn't have so many, they had enough slides, but not so many to where you weren't able to do them all. And Say again, Pooh. Seagull. The eagle of the sea. Oh, okay. What's up, world? Let's check out different. Welcome to Different World. It's our second day out here at the uh, in Corpus Christi. We're about to go do the USS Lexington. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's an old warship. And um, say hey, Pooh. Huh? Say hey. Hey. How are you? <laughs> and uh, we're about to go. We just out here enjoying. See? Oh, there it is, right there. Why are you standing right there? You want to be in the video or what? Yeah. See? So, we just out here living. Yep. With the, what's that back there? In the background? The warship. Yeah. Okay, so, we're about to do the tour, and uh, we'll give y'all some more insight when we're on the inside, okay? So, stay tuned, you guys. Difference will come and learn. So, oh, hold on. Wait, what was that, Pooh? Okay. Ow. All right. 
All right, everybody, so I guess we're gonna walk. We missed the ride. <laughs> but we coming up on the ship, the USS Lexington. It's an old time warship. It's docked here in Corpus Christi. One of the main attractions when you come. So, if you guys haven't got a chance to check it out, definitely get a chance. Ooh, child. It's a long road walk. I hear the full exercise. You see people out there on the jetties. Really beautiful out here, y'all. This is a little, a little like Galveston, but slightly better thanks to this right here. We don't have that out here in Galveston. How you doing, Pooh? Yeah. All right, guys. So we almost there. Once I get out there, we'll um, do a little bit more videos and clips for you guys. Let's see. Yeah, tip as well. Let's come and learn. Let's go. What's up, world? All right, we made it. And we're on the USS Lexington uh, warship. It's a uh, retired warship out here. In case you guys can see, it's hot but cool at the same time. I've never had that experience before. Um, but we're on our way to the flight deck here, as y'all can see. Cool. What you think? Uh, it's pretty cool. Are oh, you all uh, mesmerized by what you're seeing here? Yep. So they got a lot of flights. It's, it's such a big ship. It's like a, well, it can be a cruise ship, but this is used for like a battleship here. So we're trying to get to the flight deck here. Oh, this way, cool. Answers to the flight deck. Okay, so. We'll come back on, give you guys a little bit more of what's going on with Dippers Wall um, once we make it to the flight deck, you guys. But it, it's too hot. Ooh, I love that breeze. I love that. Uh, and uh, once we get there, I'll do a video up there, yeah? Okay. Dippers Wall. Come and learn. Peace. <laughs> What's up everybody? Okay, so we back doing our last little clip for a uh, flight deck for the USS Lexington Warship. Say hello boo. What's up? Yeah, how you liking it so far? So we out here, we just doing it. Um, it's hot out here. Even though it's breezy, it's hot. So we're getting twisted, okay? And don't um, that, that ship over there. What ship? Oh. Well, I'm doing it on bus, okay? I gotta turn around. So he wanted to get the ship out board. So the export ship out there, in case if you guys see it. Um, but yeah, we having a good time. Enjoying ourselves. About to go inside. Uh, about to go hit up the movies. Uh, go visit Waterburger. They have a really cool Waterburger restaurant out here that's on the beachfront. And you, it has like a, a two-deck uh, lair. And you can eat lunch 
on the second deck and look at the beach. And so that is what we're about to do. And um, then we'll be done with our trip from Corpus Christi and then we'll be back to Houston. And so stay tuned, you guys. Got a lot to come. Different as well. Come and learn. Peace. Yeah. So we, for those that need a little description, we are on the inside of where they shoot the torpedoes off the warship. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is a, a tor bullet like torpedo. That's a good one. That's a big one. You don't want to mess with that one, huh? How you liking it, Pooh? Hold on. Stay right there. How you liking it so far? I'm doing a video. Yeah, yeah, it's a little hot in here. A little clash of folk. I know, right? Oh, the breeze don't feel good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you guys. So, this is where they launch. I think they put it down here. They have one already set, and it, it, it goes shooting out and whatever. This is where, like, they would used to do the leveraging and stuff, like the loading and calibrations. Oh, what's that? Hold on. Shaky right here, buddy. But in the case, that's how we do it. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. What's up? <laughs> Woo! Are y'all having fun? You having fun, buddy? How you liking it? It's haunted. You think it's haunted? <gasps> Hello. Ghost in here. I heard somebody. Let's go. <laughs> oh, cha. What's up, everybody? She girl different. All right. So we out here. We had the last little stretch of it. We just came from the movies, watching the Meg, and now we gotta watch the singles. <laughs> we was gonna eat lunch out here on the beach deck. But, um, no, nah, I don't think it's going to work out that way. Um, these seagulls ain't going to let that happen. But, uh, we right, if you, I guess I got to back it up. If you guys can see over there, uh, let's get in that area, right over there in that area, right yonder. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Uh, well, not do, but that's, that's our last stop. The Selena Museum, fun fact, is close on the weekends. And, um... Based on what, what the locals are telling me, they're never open on the weekdays either. As well as, I didn't know this, but none of people, the, none of the, the locals I hear like the Quintanilla family. Like, as soon as you say something about their family, they get ugly faces. But, uh, yeah, so, we had a really good time. Oh, no, here, here's that food. We're going to come in, so. Oh, no, we're coming in. We already know. We were just doing a little view. Look, look, look at this one. He ready for it. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to go. Um, next stop is going to be the Selena uh, uh, Monument and then uh, headed back to Houston you guys but uh, I got to go back in. Go ahead and go in. Go in. Thank you. Alright. This is y'all. Come and learn. Peace.
All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, looking in and watching our adventures in Corpus Christi. As you guys seen, we had a very good time. Even though it was short-lived, this is probably one of the, the best trips we had, uh, or I've had in a while. Um, I haven't got to travel much uh, post-pandemic. And so this is a well-needed trip. Been stuck in the house all summer. And so um, I encourage anybody out there that's looking for like a short, quick trip or uh, something fun to do with the family. Uh, this is a great stop uh, here in Texas. So definitely, if you guys haven't gotten a chance to uh, visit Corpus Christi, I definitely recommend it. Um, I don't know, Pooh, what do you think? What, what was your favorite part besides the water part? We know that was one of your favorite parts. But what other things? We did a lot of other things. We got to go to Blackbeard's uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. What else? No, it's not. I can't think of one. Okay. It'll come back to you. Uh, what about, how was the USS Lexington? How was it been on a warship? Tell me about that. It, it was great. I got to see the ocean view and some of the yeah. older boats uh, sh shipping cargoes to other places. Yes, and uh, I think one of the uh, highlights of being on the warship is they had one of the little cannon uh, makeshift uh, little things where they, they, they just, uh, they launched the little the missiles or whatever, and so we got to go inside of there. That was fun for me. I liked that part. As well as um, we were in the little jail rigs they had there. Um, what else? It was hot though. I will say that. Like when you first step out into that warship at the sub level or the bottom level of it, it was hot. Uh, as soon as you step into it, even though they have like the airspace up, it's just, you know, because it's in a uh, closed environment and it, it accumulates so much heat. It's like you're in the freaking oven, man. Um, as well as, we did not, I didn't realize this until we got up there, but there was like a long access ramp that you could either walk up or you could hop on a little uh, trolley ride and catch the other ride there to the warship. And my, okay, <coughs> PG-13. <laughs> uh, I didn't know that that was available. And so by the time we get up there, I look back, I see a little trolley coming up with people and I'm like, oh man, we could, you know, save ourselves some time, but who knows, I need that exercise, right? So uh, what else, what else we got to do? Um, we went to Blackbeard's Restaurants, which is a, a really good, popular restaurant out there. Um, I liked it. Um, I don't know. What, what? Yeah, we took a picture of me doing the... Oh, yeah, and the little... Um, what are those that? things called? It's not a little guillotine thing. It's, I guess I don't know what to call it. It's like when you... You guys see me in the pictures. If you guys know what that's called, drop a comment below and tell us what that's called. We don't know, okay? We just know we got in it. But um, what else? Uh, anything else you want to say about Corpus Christi? Uh, yeah, Corpus Christi. Yeah, I think Corpus Christi is a pretty, pretty cool place uh, to go there. Yeah, well, I really hope we go there in, uh, next summer. Yeah, you want to go back there again? Yeah, yeah, I love the place. Okay, okay, so we might have to make that happen, put that on the agenda for next summer. But hey, who knows? <laughs> so you guys, you okay? You all right? Oh, um, okay. wait. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you guys liked our trip and enjoyed watching our vlog to Corpus Christi, be sure to show us by dropping a comment, a like, a share, and hitting that web button. Too. The subscribe button and the notification down below. There you go. And if you guys don't see it, that subscribe button and that notification popping up in Difference World logo, be sure to click it, you guys. Um, as well as moving on. So if you guys haven't gotten a chance to, be sure to check out my website, differenceworld.net, and check out all my other social media handles, including my TikTok, my Instagram, and especially my uh, YouTube channel, which I want you guys to hit that web button, boop. The subscribe button, the notification down below. There you go. As well as anybody out there looking for motivational speakers, uh, looking to do a collaboration with the podcast, uh, grassroots conversationalists, get at your girl. Uh, hit me up on my website, again, differentsworld.net. Shoot me an email. DM me. I am free of charge as of now. As well as, don't forget to get my book, what if a controversial paradigm shift that's available as well on my website again this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in america and i've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations so again please be advised that if you can't take this type of heat still come on to the kitchen just get your little fire pit. you'll be okay that's the point of it all you guys is to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug and turned a blind eye to uh, I feel, you know, in, in, in order to grab people's attention, that's what I took the controversial route. And once we have that attention, and uh, you see the point that I'm trying to make, and once we have that, I 
guys come into that round table and have these conversations. It is my thought and my, my Hypotenuse, you know, or hypothesis, excuse me, <laughs> uh, that uh, when we have these conversations and over time we can create systemic change instead of dwelling on systemic racism. And so again, go to my website, differencewall.net, and get your copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, which features your, your boy here, Pooh. Uh, he is featured through the book. And so uh, show him some love by getting the book. <laughs> Look at him. Look, Chocolate Casanova. Um, uh, so again, go to my website, differencewall.net, and get your copy of my book. Uh, again, you guys, thank you so much for the love and support that I'm getting. Um, everybody that's, you know, giving me a chance to get on their podcast and promote myself and share my story and testimony. I appreciate all the love and support. Please keep it coming and don't stop. And with that being said, moving right along with the different train. Uh, we got great things coming ahead next week in a couple weeks. So be sure to stay tuned and keep rocking out with your girl. And uh, continue to what? Get that web button, Pooh. The subscribe button, the notification down below. Yep, yep, yep. So when I drop content, you guys come into Different World and you come and learn what's going on with your girl. All right. And so with that being said, you guys, let's move on to one of the most important segments in the uh, Different World and Third Eye Entertainment. Our mental health check for anybody out there that may need it or know anybody that may be going through any type of mental stress, anguish, or illness. Please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Go get help, whatever that may mean to you. Be talking with a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, cutting people off, mending broken bridges, even getting on med medication if that is the case. Do whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out Mental Health is Help. <coughs> and for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishelp.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org. As well as those that are outside of the U.S. and are watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can visit incounseling.com. That is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, you have to remember to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else. And with that being said, lastly, when it comes to mental health, I want you guys to remember whatever trial and tribulation that you may be going through, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So don't do it. Okay? So we're going to close out and bring it out back to some positive energy. Uh, big thank you to my co-host here, my special guest, uh, for tuning in with my travel vlogs. Uh, very steadily do I get to share uh, my travel vlogs with the trips that we've done. If you guys know in the past, um, I posted a trip to, to Philly and Hershey Park in New York with him. And so uh, we have some more coming. Our trip to Orlando, we'll do that. I remember that trip with, to this one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really? Now you're going to forget that. <laughs> you going to forget that. <laughs> Alrighty. So we'll do that soon. Uh, and what else we got? Again, that's why you guys got to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So again, when I drop content, you guys come into different world and you come and learn, yeah? And All right, you guys. So with that, we're going to get up out of here. And uh, again, for those out there who are believing they're a great, destined for greatness, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you guys. Different world. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift 
It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.